The love of a pet is so special. One organization is making sure military veterans in Nebraska are receiving that unconditional love and companionship. 3 News Now anchor Zach Williamson reports for Mission Service. This is Mission Service, sponsored by Barry Law. His temperament is really nice, loves kids, loves people. Meet Bear. He's my right hand dog. He's with me everywhere I go. He gets upset if you don't get to go. The two and a half year old Great Pyrenees and U.S. Army veteran Scott Henry have been tied at the hip now for a couple of months. No, he don't fetch. He doesn't fetch at all. Like He's like, are you crazy? The pairing came about after Henry suffered a stroke in 2021. He was introduced to a program provided by the First Responders Foundation that provides affordable service dog training for veterans and first responders in need of support. That's how he heard about Vets Get Pets. It was teary happy, you know, it was exciting. Vets Get Pets was launched in 2021. The Nebraska Department of Veteran Affairs program covers up to $350 in adoption fees from an animal shelter, easily connecting veterans with companion animals. Mostly dogs, but a few cats, um, and they don't have to be service animals. Uh, they don't even have to be dogs or cats, as long as it's from a licensed rescue or shelter in Nebraska. You know, we're just trying to get the word out to as many veterans as we can to utilize the program, get a companion pet. Good boy. Henry was the 50th veteran to get a new best friend and to experience the benefits. He gives something to look forward to. And when you're stuck at home like me all day, not being able to do much, so we go for a walk, it, it, it eases the tension. Just the feedback we've gotten from veterans who've gone through the program, you know, it's helped with loneliness, anxiety, um, things like that. Just, it, it gives you a reason to exercise. It gives you just uh, so many things that are positives in your life. I'll always have balance issues. So that's why Bear comes in handy. He's a lifesaver when I need him. No more falls. It turns out Henry is a lifesaver for Bear too. He was uh, brought from Texas. Yeah, they were gonna euthanize him. Bear, sit. Sit, thank you. Stay. I really think the Vets Get Pets program is a win for so many people. It's a win for the veterans. It's a win for the animals. It's a win for the shelters. You know, it's both of our second chances in life. And it's pretty, been pretty special so far. Oh, well, Bear and Henry's first service dog training class was Sunday. Henry said, quote, Bear will smoke it. We're going to check in with the two. And Javelin, the program providing the training here in a few weeks. The adoptions are paid for through the purchase of Vets Get Pets license plates. Any Nebraska driver can get those plates, and all of the funds go directly to the program. The plates cost $5, $40 for custom plates, and to purchase or to learn more about the program, visit veterans.nebraska.gov slash vets get pets. And if there's a person or topic you think we should cover for mission service, tell us. Email mission.service at 3newsnow.com.